Saturday now, Sabbath. Um, gotta get ready for church here pretty quick because my husband's gonna want to go to bed and um, I want to look somewhat decent for church. So, yeah. Very tired. I just had a smoothie and it's kind of upset my stomach. Ugh. Stomach's been so touchy lately. It goes on and off like that though, so even though I would love to just say, oh, that has to mean I'm pregnant, I can't because, ugh. Every time I've done that, I wasn't. So, and plus it's like too early to have any real symptoms, so I know it's not, I know it's not from that, so. Just got done at church. Oh my gosh, I'm so oily lately. Hi. Um. There's Luke. Hi. So yeah. I don't know if it's like this weather. It's really, yeah. really dreary. It's yeah. rainy. Mm -hmm. Um, my pain's been really bad. Uh, hopefully now it'll get better. Now that it's actually raining. I think just the pressure buildup from it getting ready to rain for the last like half of a day just caused my pain to flare up because everything is sharp. I can't handle being touched right now. It hurts to turn my head. Just anything that you take for granted. Talking hurts right now. Singing in church was hurting. It's just not 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 going fun right now. So um I'm going to be resting for the rest of the day. Well, it's Sabbath. You should anyway. But <laughs> I legitimately need it. So, yeah. I'm very appreciative that it's a day where I can do that. And, like, I can um, take care of myself. So, yep. We're going to go home and stay warm and dry. Hi. So, um, as... You may or may not know I have a lot of food irritations, one of them being broccoli, but I am going to eat something that's got broccoli in it. Pad Thai. It is vegan. Mm. I want you to see my first bite of broccoli in a while. decide what I think of this. Not the broccoli, the like, sauce and stuff, but pretty good. I'll let you know how that does. 
So my dogs chewed up another pillow. Luke was nice enough to let me use one of his. Um, so that broccoli, as far as I know, did not bother me. If it did, it's like creeping up slow, but um, it's only been like half hour. We'll see. We got some Louis string on. You want to shoot it at my phone? You will allow yeah. it? Yeah. It's kind of hard because it might hit your clothes and stick to it. It won't stick for long. Go ahead. Try and get my... Oh! <laughs> It's wait. It's covered. <laughs> no, that's enough on me. Let's shoot something else. A tree. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trail. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that stinks. <laughs> no. I got a little covered. That stinks. Yeah, that's already drying. Oh, it's stained. Good thing I don't like this shirt very much. Good thing. All right, we're gonna go for the tree. Okay. You running out? Oh goodness, not running out. <laughs> I think it's done. It's like it's got, it's got a booger. <laughs> Alfredo sauce I got from the store. Didn't really taste like Alfredo like at all. Just tasted like lemon and kind of gross taste in it. I don't know why. But I opened it, could not return it. So um, I have added like a crap ton of spices to this. I put in a bunch of onion and garlic, a little bit of curry. A, a garlic pepper grinder uh, and some Montreal chicken and a little bit of uh, nooch. Definitely better. Tiny bit of I mean, <laughs> uh, gluten free soy sauce. So I hope it doesn't ruin it. That yeah, would really suck. You know how yeah. that didn't really help the flavor. I don't think it hurt it, but it did not help it at all. At all. Not at all. I think I'll do a little bit of Italian herb. Um, so besides that Italian, I added more of the garlic pepper and more onion powder. The Italian and the garlic pepper were those grinders. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to fix this. The flavor I can stomach. I added in some cayenne powder as well as some chili and garlic. It's like just a It's actually really delicious. Um, it tastes decent now. I've got my pasta here. I cooked in some peas and shredded carrots. They're not all the way cooked. I added them in a little late, but let's see. This will be any of your taste, maybe. I'm a picky shit. Sorry. Um, I grew up on really good 
home cooking like everything from scratch with my grandma as well as my dad and just a little bit my mom she's time to taste this you know that oh yeah time to taste it normal bowl. Since I'm not vegan and she is, I'm gonna try it with parmesan, but first I'm gonna try it without parmesan. Yeah, I got Okay, you need to taste. I need okay. to know if you like it. It's kind of so-so. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. now I'm gonna try it. That's one of that part. Okay. Gonna try it. It's a little bit better, but that does not mean I like it. <laughs> Finish what you have. You don't have to have more, okay? Okay. It's better than it was, but mm, still not that good. Not good. The only good thing about it is the pasta, the peas and carrots that I put in. Honestly, I should have just made that Daya white cheddar with the carrots and peas that come in that. Because it's a lot better than this. So, um, it's a vegan. Tomorrow, I probably will make that for myself. Yeah, but your mommy doesn't like it. You don't like it? Jojo likes it. Sammy likes it. Huh. He's so happy. Well, I don't really like it. Does Sammy like it? He's okay. He says, I'm tasting it. I don't know yet, huh? Time to taste it. Yep, he's trying to figure it out. I don't really like it. Joe's not that picky. He's my unpicky dog. And Sadie, who's never been that picky. And me, who's kind of liking it. Last thing I'm doing today is taking a couple ovulation tests, kind of like using them as early pregnancy tests. I'm sure it, I'm sure I'm going to get nothing. I'm just going to wait until I see it going on these. So um, I'll be back in five minutes. Time is up. There's still absolutely nothing. Um, like, maybe a tiny bit this one. But, nothing worth noting, really. So yeah, it's Sunday now. Um, yesterday and today are going to just kind of be in the same video if I can fit it. I how that goes. Daughter, through all life's changes, discoveries, and journeys, you've brought us such joy. And that happiness grows, just seeing you be the mom you are with a family of your own. You make us so very proud. Happy Mother's Day. All our love, Mom and Dad. Hi. So we are about to go pick up my other two kids. They're actually right down the street because they're at their aunt's that lives close by. Um, my husband needs sleep so he gave me money to take them to do something. And Luke still doesn't know what we're going to go do. So he doesn't know and the other two don't know. It's going to be a surprise. Because my husband needed sleep and he wanted me to still have a good Mother's Day. So that's really sweet. Um, yeah. We just, we have a few minutes before we need to go and get brothers and all that kind of stuff. I hate showing this. And this is all crooked still. Two sons are back and they got me, oh no, a gift. And they got me a really funny card. It's like, screw it all for moms that are tired of it. <laughs> Just screw it all. <laughs> and then a couple really, really cute notes from them inside. 
then we went to where? Chocolate Festival. And I found some vegan chocolate lots, I guess. Let's see. Okay, this part is the movies. We're gonna go see the Jungle Book 3D. Got our handy dandy glasses. It was wasting time. We got here early, so we're all sitting here, boys on their devices, having their they're happily wasting time since we have it to waste right now. Um, so with that, I'm going to end the vlog for today. Thank you so much. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe. Um, and just keep getting updates and know what's going on in the TTC and Fibro Vegans life. Uh, you guys have a wonderful night and God bless you.